Welcome to the video series on Chicory's Refit. This time we're doing inverters, chargers, and batteries. I'm going to start by showing you the cabinet that houses the inverters, battery switches, and fusing. And then I'm going to give you some more detail about each component. Chicory utilizes a pair of 3000 watt 12 volt inverter chargers. They're in stack configuration, so they have 6,000 watts of total AC power supplied to the AC breaker panel, and they can charge the batteries with a continuous charge of 300 amps. They are uh, configured so they go through class T fuses, through battery switches, and to the positive battery bus. The battery power is routed through the bottom of the cabinet, through class T fuses, to an intermediate positive bus and then to the standard bus where everything is tied into. Positive DC power is routed from the positive DC bus through a class T fuse, which you can't see right here because this is part of my early installation photos. It goes through a battery switch and then is routed up to the DC distribution panel. The last two components you see in the cabinet are two battery switches. Both of those battery switches allow me to use the house bank to jump start the, either the main engine or the 12 kilowatt generator in case those starting batteries have some sort of issue. This concludes the cabinet that handles the inverters and chargers and now on to the battery. The first step in the battery installation was to build a battery box that could be field built and disassembled whenever I needed to do some battery maintenance. So this shows how they look stacked on a skid, and once I started to assemble them, they are self-sustaining and can support nine 4D batteries completely on their own, not even within the enclosure that they'll be held in. Each horizontal platform for the battery box was designed to immobilize itself as it fit into the walls of the enclosure, and it would allow ventilation in the front and back of batteries. In addition, the horizontal panels had slots in them would hold vertical three-quarter inch plywood that would mate with the bottom side of the next horizontal panel. Once these were all stacked up, it made nine open boxes for the batteries to slide into. Once all nine batteries were in, I had a battery bank of 1890 amp hours. With the 50% depth of discharge, that allowed me usable amp hours of 945. This was enough to run my 6000 BTU air conditioner for the stateroom overnight with some leftover capacity. The next step was to build the required battery cables and then start the installation. The installation concluded with building an assembly to hold the batteries in place under all circumstances. There's a plywood board in front that holds the batteries and then that board is through bolted to the engine room bulkhead with stainless steel threaded rod. Less than four years after this installation, these batteries were dead and I decided to change to lithium iron phosphate batteries by Battleborn. I utilized the breakaway panel of the bed to change out the batteries and installed 12 new Battleborn batteries of 100 amp hours each. This meant that I had 1200 amp hours of usable capacity. We're coming up on our third year of use with the Battleborn batteries and I can tell you that it's one of the best investments we've made in the boat. They are absolutely fantastic. They charge incredibly fast, they're resilient, and it has truly changed our cruising lifestyle. If you enjoyed the more technical nature of this video, please make a note in the comments and tell me what you thought, and I will add more technically sophisticated videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed it.